It's Roger and James here from the This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Epic Mickey 2, which is available on Xbox Games with Gold for August in the second half. So it's an Xbox 360 game, and it's backwards compatible with the Xbox One. So if you've got the Xbox One, you can play it. And it's just great to see Disney offer. They've been doing this a lot. They've been offering lots of games through um, Games with Gold. I'm sure, no doubt, they'll be doing the same with PlayStation um, plus at some point, but they are all available on PlayStation now. So I thought it was a good time just to kind of jump in and just talk about this game because it kind of fresh in a lot of people's minds. Um, I, I'll be honest, I haven't, I actually brought this game when it got made available backwards compatible. Um, well, must be six months, a year ago on the Xbox One. So I played it a lot when it came out the first time. Around. But I also have it on the PS Vita. Um, my, when I brought the PS Vita, I had like this Disney bundle that came with Epic Mickey so I've actually played it on two different platforms and I think I might have even like played a bit of it on PS Now and it's a real fun platformer you know but this is the problem of it as like I've started it at least three times and I've never really got more than a few hours into it before I've kind of just stopped playing something else bit of an odd one it's um I mean, it looks great. There's lots of playing around, jumping around. You've got the different, like, paint things of painting on, paint off. And it's cool with the different characters and Oswald's in there. But for some reason, I never quite clicked. And I can't, I don't, can't, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, so, conversely, this is my first experience with Epic Mickey. Yeah. I did not play the first one at all. Uh, prior to this week, I had not played the second one at all. Um, so I'm coming into this brand new. I've played, I don't know, about four hours worth. Yeah. And I think that's probably the full four hours that I'm going to play with the game. I don't really feel any need to go back into it. Um, you mentioned the platforming bits. And, yeah. well, I mean, it is a it is a straight platformer, the entire yeah. game premise. There's very little combat in the yeah. game. And even then, it's mostly, it's not like defeating enemies. It's I'm converting the enemies to my cause, yeah. uh, which is fine um it's disney obviously you kind of want to hold back a bit but i didn't think the platforming was all that good honestly i think within the first hour of play i was already ready to be just like nope this this platforming is ridiculous there was one section not a particularly hard section uh where i just had to cross a pit and all i had to do was oswald had to float up in the air and i grab onto oswald and you know i glide yeah. across and i could not make this freaking thing because uh, I don't even know why. It, it was not quite the tutorial. It was straight after, so it's yeah. not like this is precision timing necessary. And I, and at that point, the game had already lost me. But I stuck it out for a couple more hours to see where it was going. Um, now, I will say, difficulties with the controls beside, I did like the story. It was mm. kind of fun. It had that, that cheesy 50s, 60s... Uh, animation thing going for where things are still just a little bit bonkers, but they've kind of stabilized a bit. So this isn't like Cuphead levels of crazy, but, yeah. uh, but it's definitely wacky. It's not like modern cartoons. So yeah, well, no, discounting the the current Mickey Mouse series, which is yeah. completely off the wall. Yeah, it kind of it did get me um, that kind of thing of um, it's good. I mean, it's, it was. A, I think the thing is, it was a good 3D platform at the time when it came out. Unfortunately, it didn't sell it well enough, so they just kind of didn't do anything more with it. The trouble is, as a 3D platformer, you know, when you compare it to the things of like what's out now, like Super Mario Odyssey or even the Crash Bandicoot like trilogy or Ukulele or something like that, it's like it doesn't quite hit it. I didn't. I mean, there was a number of times I'm just like roaming around, just trying to. F Work out what I'm supposed to be doing next, and you get these little yes. Hints. Yes, I definitely had that problem too. Especially even early in the game, I'm like, "Hey, I need you to push this button." I'm like, "I don't see any button. Where's yeah. the button?" I literally was in just a room. It wasn't a very big room, so it's not like I was hiding very well. I'm like, "I need you to 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 twist this lever." What lever? I don't, yeah. I don't see a lever. I've been over this entire room, and I don't see a lever. Um, and then similarly, you know, you would find the lever or the button or whatever, and it'd be like, press the A button. So I'd press the A button, which would make me jump. I'd be like, yeah. okay, that didn't, no, you have to hold the, oh, okay. Press the A button, hold the A button, and I'd still jump. And it'd be like, yeah. are you kidding me right here? So, uh, you know, the controls didn't feel that refined. There were frustrating instructions. I never really had a, an idea that I, that I knew where, what I was doing 
in the game. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of a frustrating experience all around, to be honest. Yeah, this is where this, this is where the problem is kind of comes in of like, you know, this game wasn't tied into any movies, it wasn't anything like that, so it didn't have any time pressures on this. But it wasn't. It's almost that it's that same problem that we've had for this with Disney games for decades. Of they never quite get that next level of greatness. They don't. It just average and it does that kind of ter- whereas like nintendo always just keep pushing the boundaries and making sure that they send out the best quality product they can get disney's whenever a disney game comes it just gets to a point where it's almost like yeah that'll do the kids are playing it they'll work it out and it epic mickey is that kind of thing of epic mickey one was a was a much better game i remember playing a little bit of that on the wii but epic mickey 2 just didn't quite hit that saying it's, it's fine it's a good you know especially if you're on xbox one you get it play it whatever but there are just better games on the market and that's never and that's really been the kind of the problem for disney games as a whole yeah and i will say i do think that if i had a second player someone who was controlling oswald because you have both characters yeah. through the entire game and it's really designed to be played with two players you know, um, Oswald follows your orders, whatever. But, I, uh, but I didn't have a second person, no. and I think that it would have been a better game with. So, so if you're at home and you've got a kid and you're trying to figure out what to to play with them, that's maybe kid appropriate. This yeah. might be an okay option for that, but definitely not playing solo. Not when there are much better options on the market available. Yeah. Just just within games with gold from the past couple yeah. of months by itself. So. Even yeah. free, or you know, free because you're paying for the yeah. service. Um, I, you know, grab it because it's free. But I wouldn't necessarily rush to move it to the top of your backlog if if you've got other things to play. No, and I think I think the thing is, well, as an Xbox player, you know, there's a not as much kid stuff out there. You know, you got like Super Lucky Tail Fox or something. I haven't played that one, and. You know, there's a few other ones, but there's not as many like kids' games out there as there used to be, and it's it's fine. It's it, but the tr- trouble is, it's what an eight nine year old game now, and therefore it's aged. It's fine, but I'd rather play Cat the remastered version of Castle of Illusion. It's better. It's just a more fun game um, than this one, and yeah, it's it's good. It's worth checking out, but it's very much in that kind of. Seven out of ten, average. Just kind of, it it's fine. But when you compare it to something like Super Mario Odyssey, it just it's just that's a much better game to go and play. I would definitely say though that if the game interests you at all, maybe look up um, some YouTube videos. Not a full let's play, mm. but maybe like a a compilation that cuts to the story bits or the just the important bits and kind of watch it like that. Because uh, for the cutscenes, they yeah, do a traditional good, yeah. style animation. They've got singing in them. They've got traditional Disney style stuff, which were really cool. Yeah, I I loved the cutscenes in the game. I loved the the story of the game. And honestly, if they had released this as like a Disney short or a, you know a thirty minute Disney cartoon, I'd probably be all over it because it was a, it was a ton of fun. So yeah, it's also a yeah. weird thing as well. Like they use Oswald a lot, a lot. Uh, He's a major, major part of it. But it's that weird thing of like, it feels like, you know, they got Oswald back, they released a few bits of merchandise at Disneyland, they did this game, and then they kind of just abandoned him again. It was like, um, it's, and it was that weird thing of like, oh, he's a long lost character and all the rest of it. And it was just, as I can imagine a lot of kids in people being like, well, who is this character? We don't know who he is and, you know, what they're referencing. But obviously, you know, it, he was a major thing. Um, it's a shame they didn't do an Epic Mickey 3. I know they were doing Epic Mickey Donald duck or an epic mickey racers game i'm um, it's a shame that this series never really kind of got going um it probably didn't know the first one was a wii exclusive i think and then the second one was everywhere but again it just was just average it didn't really hit and then there's the infinity hit and you can definitely tell from the design of epic mickey 2 that even though it was multi-platform you're really supposed to play it with motion controls. Yeah. You know, the, the control of the ink and the uh, um, paint thinner 
really is designed for, you know, pointing at the screen and yeah. running it around and stuff like that. So, you know, if there was a Switch port of this at some yeah. point, I doubt I doubt there will be because it's no. a Disney property and they're not kind of pillaging their own backlog like that. But I could see it working mm. better on a yeah. Switch. Still not like a, oh, you got to go out and buy this game right away kind of thing. But um, if the motion controls were put in properly, oh. you know, updated from the Wii... I could, and with a second player, one person maybe controlling the the character, and another person doing the the motion controls. I could see that being a good weekend of fun kind of game. But, yeah. oh, but you know. having already started on two different consoles oh, and, and not finishing done. it, that's it's fine for me. But no, um, I'll be honest. I've been kind of sucked back into Kingdom Hearts two the last week and just been loving. i very noticeably how much better the the controls are compared to the first one. But that's a whole other topic. Anyway, we'll guys, about that another time. Yes. Um, let us know your thoughts on Epic Mickey 2 and if you've been playing it because of Games with Gold. I think it might even be on Games Pass. I don't know. Um, go check us out over at thiskingdom.com. I'm James. Where can they find you? Find me at heroiclegacy.com. On that note, guys, thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back soon. Laters. Later. Later.